Hello from rainy Finland. It's again me, Dasha, master degree student of real estate economics at Aalto University. And today, as promised, I will take you around the newest building of our university called Vare. And then we will also visit the main building, which is called Tipoli. Okay, let's get started. So, the Vare building is the new home to all departments of the School of Arts, Design and Architecture, and it has been designed according to user-centric and sustainable principles. The word Vare actually translates as Eripul, meaning it's a slight movement on water caused by touch or other slight interference. All the corridors and special elements in this building create a village-like feeling and make students feel really cozy, like at home. Here you can find a restaurant called Kipseri, and it's a restaurant owned by art students of Aalto University. What is special about this restaurant is that they serve delicious vegetarian and vegan dishes only, and also they have a lot of freshly baked goods. Menu changes every week, and it's really nice that you can have lunch or even dinner here until 6 p.m. in the evening. So now I will try the vegetarian cookie. Mm, very good. In my opinion, there is absolutely everything in this building to make students feel comfortable and get their projects done. They can leave some extra stuff in this lockers over here or they can come to the second floor and make any coffee they like in one of these coffee machines and enjoy a cup of coffee while reading and of course they can scan or print anything they need for their assignments in one of the printing rooms in the university Every each student will find here a suitable working space for their activities. It can be quiet computer room where students will find all the modern equipment, computers on Windows and iOS, or slightly lively corridor working spaces again with all the needed equipment. Or students can sit down with their own laptops in one of the comfortable coffee shop style areas. The most amazing thing about this building is that students can use here all kinds of workshop and studio spaces. And with all the tools and equipment available, they can fully release their creativity and start designing and creating. Sometimes it's just fun to follow one of the students and you might find yourself in one of the most vibrant places in the whole building where all the fashion design students create something amazing. Of course, students here also have all the modern equipment like sewing machines and overlocks and I'm sure that in these spaces many and many award-winning fashion pieces will be created. Since Vare building is home for arts, design and architecture school, of course there is a lot of showcase areas. Here you can see wooden design pieces and in exhibition area V1 you can see a ceramic series called 24 vases in 24 days. Actually, the very building is 90% self-sufficient in heating and cooling 
and it has solar panels on its roof to generate electricity. Awesome, right? In Vera building you will also find Aldi University shop. It's a great place where you can check out the merchandise of Aldi University and buy yourself a memory t-shirt or a hoodie. Also you can find here and even purchase some of the designs and works of our students and alumni. Now let's move to the main building of Aalto University, Dipoli. Dipoli is actually also a landmark building. Last summer it was fully renovated and opened to the public. In front of the Dipoli building you can see this pine cone or capu in Finnish and it's the first big acoustic kinetic work of art in Finland, dated 1968. It was co-created by a student of architecture, student of mechanical engineering and student of electrical engineering. So let's finally get inside of this building. As I have mentioned already, Dipoli is the main building of Aalto University, but it still serves students and staff more like a venue for different kinds of events. In the main hall of Dipoli you can always see some exhibitions and showcases as well, like now there is exhibition called Scoot Reinventing Urban Mobility going on, here you can see some cool different kinds of scooters. Dipoli has very unique interior elements like these rock walls or some light installations on them. Dipoli serves a big amount of stuff of Aalto University as their office, but Dipoli is also a great event venue. It can host dinners for up to a thousand people or up to 30 separate events simultaneously. If we go upstairs, we will reach probably the biggest cafeteria on campus. During the lunch hours, this cafeteria gets totally full with students, professors and other Aldo University staff. The atmosphere of this restaurant and building is just great. Lots of people are sitting and chatting, sharing some emotions and ideas, working on projects or just reading alone. You just want to dive into this university life too. In the end of October, just before Halloween, they kept here a competition for the most pretty pumpkin in the university and all the visitors of restaurant could vote. This building is open to the public and of course all the students, so you can pretty often find here somebody working by the fireplace or somewhere in a quiet corner. But if you get here on a day such as opening day of the academic year or Vappu the 1st of May, you can witness the greatest and the biggest celebrations of all at the campus. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed again this second part of the university tour. Hopefully we will be able to show you more of university, more different departments. But for now, take care and we will see you soon. Bye!